Alright, filming though? I'm good. Yep. What's up guys, Nick from Team H Day here at the OGS 1320 headquarters and today I'm with... Henry Foncher from Team H Day. We're here with Mr. H Day himself, the 1320 Don. <laughs> yeah. So we got a lot of questions from our fans about the GoDF and we're actually here today to answer them. So a lot of fans want to know, how did you get this car? Crazy story, I walk into H Day Spring 2018, this car drives by, I'm like, damn, that car is clean. I stop the guy like, yo, stop, what's up? Yo, you selling this car? He goes, no. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. So, he happens to be Distraction's friend. Distraction finds me at the end of the day, he goes, hey, my friend wants to talk to you because if somebody's gonna take care of his baby, it's you, so he's gonna give you a call. Long and behold, the guy calls me, you know, I'll, I'll sell you the car. I said, well, you could drop it off to me, I'll buy it. A week later, I had the car. So is this how you got the car from the guy when you bought it, or did you make any changes right after you bought it? You know, I got the car pretty clean. I got it with some Pia wheels, and those weren't my taste. So I put in these wheels that I, I was holding for a long time. And they're pretty OG. So if you know about wheels, these Ewin RSZs are. So the car had a lot of dents and stuff like that. I took it to the painless dent removal. I wanted to keep the paint as stark as possible. So I didn't repaint. So that's why you see all the cut marks and stuff like that. But I put maybe like 10 coats of wax. I did all the maintenance on the engine. Like AMS set the car up with that lip. That lip really changed the game for this car. And yeah, it broke it down because who broke the guy it? Holding the camera broke it, but that's another story. I didn't break anything. Where do you, where's the where's okay. the? Okay, are you talking about this? Yes. I I did that to make it add some character to the car. It looks like a wave. I was trying to uh, put some air into the brakes. Yes. So how did you did a full tune up on the car, made a couple of cosmetic changes. Was it something you plan on driving every day as your daily, or what was your sole purpose? Of the Godia. Well, I, I wasn't planning on daily. You know, I love the car, so I was, then what could I do with this car? So unique that it's gonna be memorable. And you know, I wanted to do something different, so we're sitting here like the beginning of May, what could we do? You know, the high bike meet is on the west coast, and then we're like, oh damn, but that's a long trip. Screw it, let's get on the Godia and head west. 2,800 miles later, we went on the west coast and driving around on the Godia, and he made it. So Hob, how long did it actually take you to get across the country in this old Honda Civic that's behind us right now? You know what, actually, I just thought back about that and it was about 48 hours driving hours. And we really didn't stop anywhere other than to put gas and eat. And we had to put a lot of gas on this car because, believe it or not, it's a carburetor car. And with the altitude, you can't let it go below a quarter of a tank. Little fun fact. Actually, I was on the trip with you and we had a couple like... Coming back. Yeah, coming back. I wasn't there going on the way there. Was it easy driving across the country in such an old car or...? Let's just say every so often I saw Kevin Hart on the side of my shoulder saying... No! <laughs> no! You weren't ready! You weren't ready! Because when you go to that desert and those hills in this 1990 car with a poor AC and your AC give up and you got your radiator full of bugs and all this and the needle saying like, hey, I'm about to say hi. And I don't mean, <laughs> you know, that wasn't pretty, but hey, we made it, we made it. It, it definitely was scary being in the middle of Arizona, in the middle of nowhere and seeing the temperature rise above the H and past the little emblem on the gauge yeah. and having no AC, all the windows down, four dudes in the middle of Arizona, 95 degrees, it was... And then we got the usual, I wasn't paying attention and we <laughs> ran out of gas in Kansas, Mr. Nice Ones. All the stories about that. that but, was <laughs> hey, 
we won't go into that. Anyways. So how do you keep calling it the GOAT EF? Where did this name come from? Is that some kind of special JDM version of this Civic? Or is this something you came up with? Uh, I just got a crazy fetish with GOATs. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just called it the GOAT EF because you know, the car is actually 28 years old. It's all wheel drive. And you know, with this frenzy with Honda's all wheel drive, this is one of the original Honda all wheel drive vehicles. So when you're like an OG and you, you're like the GOAT, and when it goes across the country on dual carburetors, 1.5 full of people, and back, it's the GOAT. So the GOAT, like the greatest of all time. That's right. <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. So I was kidding about the fetish. I was kidding. But I actually, no, I love the originality of this car. So it's a tough decision for me to make. One option is gonna be single cam VTEC, still all wheel drive, but turbo, right? And the other option I have, V16, and I still keeping it all wheel drive, uh, non turbo. So, you know, I, Let's see what people say after this video. We are going to let the people vote. So those are the three choices. Keep it original, dual carburetor, 1.5, non VTEC, or a single cam VTEC, still all wheel drive, turbo, or B16, not really aspirated. And you know what? After I do it, I'll do another cross country trip. I'll even take it to Canada. I won't go to Mexico because maybe the, I can't get back. The goat's going to get slaughtered. Yeah, the goat's going to get slaughtered. <laughs> But uh, hey, hopefully you guys find this car as interesting as I do. And I tell you, driving this, this is one of mo my favorite cars. I drive it almost every day. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. All right, we drove it last fall. Right, so it's actually relevant that you two guys are on this video because you have actually experienced this car. This is a pretty rare car. I only seen another one for sale in this country. And I don't know who bought it, but it was pretty mint. I find this car. I'll be in the shop. You're making me uncomfortable. You violating my mail space. <laughs> Anyways, I find this car pretty interesting. I'm driving it around town all the time. I get a bunch of funny looks and a bunch of funny questions. And well, people. you look funny. You think it's because of me or because of the girl? Might be the glasses or the haircut. I mean, you got a better haircut today. You, but you pay for my. I did. Just Nobody wanted to see you with that hair. <laughs> I mean, Anyways, this car. You want to sell it to me? No. I'll work for it. No. You don't want to? No. No. So Henry, actually, where did you drive this car last fall? I drove it from here down to Maryland at H Day Fall 2018. You were with me. I picked you up after waiting like three hours for you. <laughs> but that's another story. Then we we're doing like 90 the whole way. I mean, I had nothing to do with it. I was sitting in the car. No, the kilometers, kilometers. Oh, kilometers. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That, yeah. that makes sense. Is she smooth? I think. I think personally, for a car that's from 1990, it ride smoother than a lot of newer cars. I don't know what kind of suspension upgrades you have or something. Car got a smooth suspension, yo. I'm JDM, what's going on here? Nah, Nick, Nick is not gonna be driving it because he keeps breaking my stuff. How am I gonna get there? I think he's trying to break every single thing on it just so you don't want it no more then he can have Yeah, it. I get it for cheap. Yeah. You know that's the trick? On the low. low. Oh, you guys are something else. Yo, so, you know, Cop that non-existent GOAT EF merch, it doesn't exist. But cop it on our YouTube channel. So that's it for today with Hob, Mr. H Day, the GOAT EF. We're signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep up with our vlogs on YouTube and uh, you'll be seeing more of us, more videos like this, other cars, VIP, submissions, racers, and uh, thanks for watching. Anyways, take guys. it easy guys. That's it, wrap it. And I stay tuned because somebody's getting fired. If that's either a kid's shirt or it's a hotness shirt that I don't have, but Nick got it. Nick, you're fired. Why do these videos always have to end with me getting in trouble or hurt?